Hello everyone, I'm Loretta, and today I'm going to show you how to add images to your group or community in MightyNet. Now you want to add images to your group or community so that you give your community a branded feel and an aesthetic appeal. Now there are a number of ways you can do that. You can add images in your quick posts, your articles, your event pages, your about pages, your group landing pages, your description blocks, and then your featured pages as well as your welcome landing pages. And you can have as many welcome landing pages as you would like to serve whatever purpose. Now when you add an image, you can add an image. The image can be a block that you created somewhere. Uh, it could be uh, pictures that you grab from other places. Uh, you have a, the, a lot of options. You can add a video. You can add files. And you can also add embedded embeds, which also have their own images. So let's get started so we can show you how to enrich your group or community with images. Now, if you notice, at the top of each page, there's a little area where you do your quick posts. And you can see there you can add images there as well, images, videos. And you can also go over to your About page and manage it. And on your About page, you can add an image as a header under Branding or a video as well. Now you also can add images in the description block on this page as well. Um, in addition to that, you can add images to your welcome landing pages. And let's go to actually, oops, let's go back in here. And under, it's not under settings, it's actually under content. Under content, you will see the welcome section, and you'll see welcome pages that are here. You can open up one of these welcome pages. You can see there's already images there. Now, you can add images from a number of places. These were added from Canva and other places as well. Let's find a spot where we can place an image somewhere. First, you got to turn on the edit, of course. And then you'll see the little crossbar when you have enough space. Let's go down here a little further and find some open space inside this page. Now you can see the page scrolls down, and so you can add a lot of stuff. Here's you can add images, video, a file. You can add a video link, a YouTube link. You can embed a link. And then you can control how the characters are displayed on the page as well when, for, for text that you add. Now let's go back in here and go under, uh, under settings. You can see the description page here. And let's find a spot there. You see there's a little crossbar that pops up. You can add a photo or a divider. You can also paste any images that you would like. So let's do that so you can see how that's done. Uh, you can always add spaces in between. Let's copy this image and then we're going to go up here. 